Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Starting with the great name of Allah, who is the most precious and the most merciful. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. Today is Friday, 8 of May, 2020. As we learn multiples in the very first lecture, after that we learn factors, and today's topic is about fraction. So before going onward. First, you have to open your books on page number 20. Okay, let me define fractions. So, a fraction simply tell us how many part of a whole we have. For example, if you take a six, if you take a circle and we divide it into two pieces, shade the first one. So, I am writing it in a fraction is 1 by 2. This 1 by 2 is a fraction. You can recognize a fraction by a slash that is written between the two numbers. We have a top number and we have a bottom number. The top number is called the numerator. In the bottom number is called denominator. So, this is a fraction. Simply, a fraction simply tell us how many part of a whole we have, and you can recognize it with a slash that is written between the two numbers. And we have a top number that is called a numerator, and we have a bottom number that is called a denominator. This is called a fraction. Okay. Next, we have equivalent fraction. So, equivalent fractions are different fractions that name the same number, the numerator and the denominator, like one, like one by two. In the, the numerator and the denominator of a fraction must be multiplied by the same non-zero whole number in order to have an equivalent fraction like 2 over 4, 3 by 6, 4 by 8. So, these are equivalent fraction of 1 over 2. If you look here, the numerator and the denominator of a fraction have been multiplied by the same non-zero whole number in order to have an equivalent fraction. If you look here, 2 is multiplying here with both the numerator and the denominator to get the equivalent fraction like 1 2s are 2 and 2 2s are 4. So, these 2 and 4 are the equivalent fraction of 1 over 2 and it have the same numbers like how if we sim simply simplified it. 2 1s are 2 and 2 2s are 4. Again, this 1 over 2 is coming. If we simplify this, 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6. Again, we are getting this number. If we simplify this one, 4 1s are 4 and 4 2s are 8. Again, we are getting 1 over 2. So, all of them are equivalent fraction of 1 over 2. We can simply write it 1 by 2, 2 by 4, 3 by 6 and 4 by 8 all of them are equivalent fraction of 1 over 2. I think the fraction and equivalent fraction are cleared. Okay, let us come towards book exercise question. We have first question complete this chart of equivalent fraction. We have some fractions here. The first fraction is 1 by 2, this 3 by 6, 4 by 8, 6 by 12, 10 by 20 and 12 by 24 are equivalent fraction of 1 over 2. Keep in mind, 
we have to write such fractions, equivalent fractions for the remaining fractions. But ignore the green one boxes, we have to write value in the white boxes just only. <coughs> the first one fraction is 2 divided by 3. We have to write value here, but such a fraction which we have 12 in its denominator. So, we know that write the actual fraction first 2 by 3 and we know that if we multiply 4 with 3, it will give us the value 12. So, multiply this 4 with the numerator also. As we learn in equivalent fraction that the numerator and denominator of a fraction must be multiplied by the same non-zero whole number in order to have an equivalent fraction. So, if we multiply 4 with the denominator, so we will also multiply the same number with the numerator also. So, 2 4s are 8. Okay, right? This fraction in the equivalent fraction of 2 by 3, 8 divided by 12. The next value we have to find this one. <coughs> and we have to write a fraction in which we have 24 in its denominator. So, write the actual fraction first and we know that 3 8's are 24 and multiply the 8 with the numerator also. 2 8's are 16. Write the value here. Okay, the next fraction we have 3 by 4. First, we have to find the fraction, equivalent fraction for it, which we have 8 in its denominator. So, write the actual fraction first, 3 divided by 4, and find the number which we multiply with 4 and it will give us 8. So, we know that 4 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 8 and multiply this 2 with the numerator also. So, 3 2's are 6. Write the value here 6 divided by 8. Okay. Next value we have to find <coughs> such an equivalent fraction for 3 divided by 4 which give us 8 in its denominator. So, 3 divided by 4. So, we know that 4 multiplied by 3 which is equal to 12 and multiply with 3 with the numerator also. So, 3 3 is are 9. Write the value here 9 divided by 12. Next value we have 20. So, find such an equivalent fraction for 3 divided by 4, which give us 20 in its denominator. Okay, so, write the actual value first and we know that 4 5s are 20. and multiply the 5's with the numerator also. So, 3 5's are 15. Let's write the value in the 20 yes box like 15 divided by 20. The last value we have 24 in its denominator. So, we know that 4 6 are 24 and if we multiply 6 with its numerator, so 36 are 18. So, write the value here 18 divided by 24. 
Now look towards the table. Here we need 24 in its denominator. So all of the fractions have 24 in its denominator. Here we need 20th. So this one value is also 20 in its denominator. And uh, as we find the equivalent fraction for 3 divided by 4. So here we have also 20 in its denominator. Here all of the values have 12, 12, 12 in its denominator. Here 8. And the first one box is for 6. I think you got the question. So solve the remaining fractions and find equivalent fraction for 1 over 5, 3 divided by 5, 5 divided by 6, 3 divided by 8 and 7 divided by 10. Now let's come towards the next question. Next question we have also this uh, same like question number 1 complete these. So, look toward question number 8. The first one fraction is 3 divided by 10. The first question is 3 divided by 10 <coughs> in all of them are its equivalent fraction, but we have to find the missing number. How we will find it? Find, look toward the complete one side, this one, that find the number which we multiply with 10 and it give us 20. So, we know that 10 multiply by 2 which is equal to 20. So, as we already learn in equivalent fraction that the numerator and denominator of a fraction must be multiplied by the same non-zero whole number. So, multiply that 2 with the numerator also. So, 3 2's are 6. Okay. The next value is 50. So, we have to find the number which we multiply with 10 and it give us 50. So, we know that 10 fives are 50. So, multiply this 5 with the numerator also. 3 fives are 15. This is its required answer. The next value we have 27 in its numerator. Find from this side find the number which we multiply with 3 and it give us the answer 27. So, we know that 3 9's are 27. So, multiply this 9 with its denominator. So, 10 9's are 90. Okay, the next value is 33. Find the number which we multiply with 3 and it give us the answer 33. So, we know that 3 11's are 33. So, multiply this 11 with 10 also. 10 11's are 110. Now, the last one fraction is 150. So, find a number which we multiply with 10 and it give us 150. We know that 10 15's are 150. So, multiply 15 with its numerator also. So, 3 15's are 45. I think you got the question. We have next question 5 divided by 8. <coughs> we are finding the missing number from the complete one side. So, check this that which number is multiplied with 5 which give us the answer 25 and we note that 5 multiplied by 5 which is equal to 25. So, multiply the 5 which is denominator also. So, 8 5's are 40. The next number we have 40. So, we know that 5 8's are 40. So, multiply 8 with th uh, this denominator also. So, 8 8's are 64. Next incomplete fractions we have 
80 in its denominator. So find the number which we multiply with 8 and it will give us 80. So we know that 10, uh, 8 tens are 80. So multiply the 10 with its numerator also. So 5 tens are 50. Okay, the next number we have that is 96. So find out a number which we multiply with 8 and it give us an answer 96. So we know that 8 twelves are 96. Multiply this 12 with the numerator 5 also. So 5 twelves are 60. The last one number we have 176. So if we find the number which we multiply with 8 and it give us 176. So we know that 8 22 are 176. So multiply this 22 with the numerator also. So 5 22 are 110. I am sure you got the questions. Now let us come toward a home assignment. If you guys left your book at school, kindly pause a video here and take a snapshot from this page. As I saw, the first three, uh, first two fractions in question number one, you have to solve the remaining fraction, which I mark here. In question number two, as I solved A, B, and you have to solve C, D, and E. And if you guys have any difficulty or problem, inshallah, I will discuss it in the next lecture. And we have, inshallah, simplification is our next topic. If you have any problem, I will uh, discuss it in the next lecture. Take care. Thank you so much.